probably train four hours a day. Uh, and again, in the 50s, you think you should be slowing down. I probably got in the best shape of my life at 52 years old. What's up guys, Derek from MorePlateSmartAids.com. Today we're gonna be talking about Jacked After 50. This feels like a video that was fucking made for me to react to. The one thing jacked guys over 50 do. All stars, men's health. So pretty much what the man who wants to optimize himself would be doing after 50 to sustain God tier physique, bro. So we have Frank Grillo, Mr. What was it? 3% body fat or whatever he said he was. Actually, I don't, what did he say? I don't want to, I don't want to misquote him, but something about it was a uh, pretty fucking out there, dude. Frank Grillo. This guy is known for being a dice fest. 5%. Okay. How could I have, uh, oversold him that severely. He is, uh, he only claims 5%, of course. Um, because this was, when, when was the first one? Yeah, he did this interview on Conan. And he was like, yep, I'm fucking 5%. I talked to everybody in this business. This guy is 52 years old and he has 5% body fat. Yeah. 5%. <laughs> That's insane. He's like, yeah, fuck. It's pretty, it's pretty wild, isn't it? Then we have Batista here looking much more downsized than you probably remember him. But to be honest, probably a reasonable strategy and conducive for longevity. And he's still, you know, yoked. The guy is genetically blessed and a house of a human, but is doing a strategy that I think The Rock should very strongly consider, which is not trying to maintain peak condition and size into your 50s because this guy ultimately is going to have less burden on his organ systems going into older age um, given that he's not trying to maintain fucking peak wrestler level territory physique at this point and then we have Lenny Kravitz here with the dialed in six pack and the fucking borderline treasure trail going down to his uh, sex lines just in the fucking leopard print dress shirt without the buttons because why would you have buttons when you have a dialed six pack you know what I mean so anyways they're all jacked after 50 and there's one thing <laughs> There's one thing they have in common, bro. I wonder what it is. I wonder. So let's see what Men's Health says. I, I, I'm going to assume it's going to be like, oh, they all get up at 5 a.m. and fucking train. Or they all do this. Or they all do that. But um, let's see, bro. In the 50s, you think you should be slowing down. I probably got in the best shape of my life at 52 years old. Leg training burns more calories than any other body part if you didn't know. You know? Looking pretty fucking good, dude. Still. I used to hate legs. I didn't like it. I wasn't into that. But uh, This guy's ready to go play some fucking footy, dude. But um, now I am. The squats were, uh, I'm ashamed to say, kind of new to me. I've been working out many years. And I always shied away. I used to do sleds, everything but squats. And the reason why is because they're really tough. I now am a huge proponent and I, of squats and I love them. So yeah, so it's like one of the most intensive, you know, full body recruiting essentially. Now, obviously it's targeted for your legs, but I mean, it is a one of the most compound of compound movements that otherwise is going to, for a natural, you know, increase testosterone levels and um, it's just like broad spectrum useful in many different capacities and you're hitting a lot of different vectors when you do that exercise. So yeah, if you have like good solid knees and you can make it happen, like s squats are goddamn solid. Frank Grillo at the start though, mentioning how <laughs> you shouldn't work less hard or you should, what do you, what do you say? You think you should be slowing down. I probably got in the best shape of my life at 52 years old. 52 years old, he got in the best shape of his life, which like, to be honest, bro, like I would think <laughs> that would coincide with the fact that your roles essentially call for you to look a certain way. So your entire career is dictated upon you achieving this physique and he has sick genetics. But above and beyond that, he self-admittedly is now on the testosterone replacement ter therapy train.
It's really good just plain, like seriously. All right, I just picked up all the boxes that uh, I'm currently working through right now of uh, cereal. So let me just grab them off the floor here. We got fruity. If you didn't realize by me shoving cereal down my throat, this is the, the classic monthly Magic Spoon integration that we're working with here. So we got, I got my apple cinnamon here that I've been eating. Uh, let's see, I've got my, the fucking goat cinnamon. This flavor is absolutely absurd. I think I say it's absurd every single time. Peanut butter. And if you're wanting, like, I'm literally eating these. I have a bunch of unopened ones too in the closet, which is excellent. Um, <laughs> I have, I'm probably still down to uh, one cinnamon though, which is, uh, need to get more of that. Uh, let's see, boom cocoa and what's crazy too is uh cookies and cream my girl actually likes this you know she's the kind of person who like <laughs> you know basically shit talks anything that's not literally actually sugar so when you have somebody who has like a palate designed to only actually sense like real like junk food essentially and they really like something that is zero sugar high protein, lower calorie, you know, like you're onto something. So for me, this is, this is the cookies and cream, by the way, this is her go-to. So, and it's definitely solid. It's like eating dessert for breakfast, but you don't actually feel guilty about it. Like with the other, you know, standard brands that are zero protein or low protein and um, a billion grams of sugar. So for me, you know, that's the main reason I like this stuff. So for me, when I was looking for good foods to kind of have on a cheat day that didn't make me feel like I just ruined my day, because ultimately you kind of feel like that when you do a cheat day, you do, you eat some junk and then you're like, damn, like I am a piece of shit human. <laughs> like why I'm so weak minded that I had to eat all that food just to make me feel better about myself and hit my sweet tooth requirements for the week. But with this stuff, this is the happy medium. So this is for me, what I used to, before they shipped to Canada, I used to order this stuff to a PO box, literally drive over the border when I go do my blood work at LabCorp and drive it back. But now obviously, you know, integrating with the channel and they have, you know, since before that, obviously they started shipping to Canada and the UK and whatnot, which is great. So I was able to get it shipped right to my door. And now we integrate them in the channel quite regularly, which is fucking awesome. So basically the uh, short summary, obviously I, these are never short, so, you know, you know how I fucking am with ads. I don't know how influencers do one minute ads, bro, of this stuff. I like me picking up the boxes is like a fucking minute. So zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, only four net grams of carbs in each serving, only 140 calories per serving, keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy, soy free, and low carb. So for me, the go to flavor is cinnamon. This one is 140 calories per serving, and this is my go to flavor. This is I plow through a couple boxes of these a week, to be honest, at this point. So also, you know, some really good ones of note is uh, cocoa. Um, I just mentioned my girl really likes this one. I would definitely recommend cookies and cream. Um, some of the classics, um, frosted, obviously fruity is very good as well. And um, there are new flavors coming out all the time. So you should check out the website and see what uh, the most up-to-date stuff is. Like they had an apple cinnamon come out recently, which is also quite good. Um, and obviously you can't beat, you know, stuff like peanut butter and whatnot on the website. So you can check that out. And we actually have a black, black, a black, a black Friday promo cyber Monday slash black Friday. This is the best offer yet. It's 20% off your order through cyber Monday on the 29th. So you can build your very own four pack box using my code Derek BF. So Derek black Friday, Derek BF. And for me again, like you can, by the way, you mix and match any of them as you please. You don't have to buy like four of the same flavor, like a pre-designed, you know, best sellers thing or anything. Um, I definitely recommend the cinnamon. Personally, frosted I think is a good like hybrid go-to. It's kind of like, I don't know anybody who really doesn't like it. Um, cocoa is obviously solid too. Like if I was to design a box for somebody from scratch and I was just kind of like ballparking, you know, what they might like. And then I don't know, peanut butter as a fourth option, but the cinnamon I'm addicted to a little bit right now. So anyways, again, like I mentioned, this is like my go-to sweet tooth, satisfying cereal that otherwise doesn't make me feel bad about myself. I can actually put it into my Perry workout nutrition window, simultaneously hit my protein intake needs whilst concurrently minimizing my sugar intake burden. And like for me in general, when I have something that is satisfying the sweet tooth, I am deficient in protein. So I end up having to have like a protein shake on top of that and then literally loading up on even more calories as if I wasn't already over from the cheat food itself. So for this, 
Ultimately, it helps me maintain a reasonable calorie intake um, whilst concurrently getting the protein into a decent extent. Like again, for 140 calories, getting 13, 14 grams of protein is like pretty goddamn reasonable given this is like a food you chew on and it's like a snack slash like, you know, junk food alternative essentially. And then, yeah, like I don't have to have anything above and beyond this. Once I have this, I'm good for my protein. I don't feel terrible about myself because I didn't slam myself with sugar. I also don't get significant brain fog from it because I'm not like spiking my insulin into the stratosphere. And it's also naturally sweetened if that is of interest to you. It is sweetened with monk fruit and allulose, which I am still very impressed to this day how they manage to maintain such an optimal flavor system in every single flavor they make with only like natural sweeteners. Like again, when you try and do this with pre-workouts, it's a disaster using stevia, monk fruit, allulose. Like you're gonna get like a six out of 10 flavor at best when you have a potent amount of ingredients. But in these cereals, they've managed to perfect it to a point where they can get away with the natural sweeteners, which for some people on their digestive system, they simply can't tolerate things like the assy sulfame potassium stuff or the, you know, sucralose or things of that nature. So um, if that's of concern to you as well, like these are very, very well tolerated by the GI. And they are, uh, again, like very macro friendly, in my opinion. So anyways, best offer yet, if you're gonna try it, you know, it helps support me. Obviously when I pull out, uh, you know, integrations, I try to bring stuff to the channel that I've either spent money on myself in the past or think is a high quality product, or I don't know, just stuff I think is cool in general that is, uh, might be of interest to you. Cause if it's of interest to me, I imagine there's certain, a lot of you guys are like-minded to me. So if you dig this stuff as a, you know, cheat meal alter alternative, like I would imagine many of you would too. So anyways, this is the best deal yet that I am aware of. And um, I did mention Magic Spoons now shipping to Canada and the UK, so you don't have to go to a PO box like back in the day. So Derek BF, use the, click the link below to use code Derek BF for 20% off or go to magicspoon.com slash Derek BF to get the best offer yet. Offer isn't going to get any better before it ends on Cyber Monday. So make sure to try some now. And um, I believe there was a notation about if you end up seeing this after Cyber, Cyber Monday, don't worry, you can still get the five, $5 off by using magicspoon.com slash Derek and using coupon code Derek because you know maybe this video you end up seeing after Black Friday slash Cyber Monday deal. Um, but if you see it beforehand, definitely take advantage if this is something you were willing to try. Um, like again, even if you're gonna have this just like once a week for me, like cumulatively, this ends up lessening your overall calorie burden um, while simultaneously hitting a lot of your macronutrient needs and not feeling terrible after both about yourself and just like your actual like inflammation levels and mental state and whatnot. So anyways, check it out. Um, obviously Magic Spoon, a longtime supporter of the brand now. Uh, much appreciated. Thank you Magic Spoon for supporting me and this channel. And thank you guys for trying their stuff to, you know, help uh, support the overall growth of the channel. It's obviously much appreciated. So anyways, back to the regularly scheduled programming. You don't want to do, uh, you want to do testosterone replacement? Because they say the number one thing where guys start to have depression and issues and energy, and it's it's correlated 100% to low testosterone. I can't yeah. wait till that happens to me. I can't wait. I you want to do, do TRT, Frank? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll 100%. do it. I'll if you do it, I'll do it. 100%. Yeah, I'm doing it. When? I'll do it. Do you have a doctor? Let's go. I Let's get fucking best shredded. Doctor. He's a sports doctor. It's a sports enhancement. Dude, I'm going to get yeah, so yeah. fucking big and I'm going to start yeah. fighting. It's a classic, classic, uh, you know, Callan saying he's going to get on the TRT bandwagon and get fucking yoked. But I would presume it has yet, yet to happen, bro. He's going to be the last one on the train at like fucking 82 years old, bro. So anyways, where are we at? We have uh, Your Body Loves Cardio by uh, five, Mr. 5% 5 Frank Grillo. Who, by the way, like regardless if he's 5% or not, like he looks fucking sick. Obviously, a lot of celebrities, you know, they have no idea what actual body fat percentages look like. 5% is like a bodybuilder stepping on stage, but he's still single digits and looks, you know, fucking amazing. A little shadow boxing, get the blood flowing, a little sweat going, loosen up my old body. This is where I work out. I can get an amazing workout here. This really simple setup has kept me going for the last six months here. No bench, use a tree. How many people have a fucking lying down tree in their yard, dude? Well, I didn't. He's like a perfectly flat tree, just fucking chilling there. You know? Like what, the majority of us are gonna like go climb a tree to do a fucking fly? Okay. The Bahamas, this workout is amazing. I'd rather be outside and in nature. 
and being cooped up inside of a gym. If you can control your body and change your body, there's no reason why you can't do anything because beyond this, you can be very successful what you do because people that are not successful with their body are not really very, very successful in their life. There's no rules, so don't don't think as you get older you, get, you should get slower. You, you actually can increase the amount you work out and, uh, and feel great. Yeah, I wish you would comment on the body weight thing because I think that's a pretty, <clears throat> for like an action star and a guy who is perceived as like a yoked motherfucker, it would be useful to have some of this advice being passed down to the guys who are otherwise abusing their bodies to gain, you know, Batista or, you know, aspiring to get Batista level size. Like there's a reason why he weighs like what, like fucking 40 to 50 pounds less than he used to? I work out five to six days a week. My exercise regime has become more efficient, more focused. So less time actually working out, but uh, way more efficient. Exercise keeps my mind, body, and spirit where I can be more creative. Probably train four hours a day. Uh, and again, in the 50s, you think you should be slowing down. I probably got in the best shape of my life at 52 years old. Dude. Two times a day, four hours a day. Fuck, some Jocko Willink shit, bro. I'd like you to meet my trainer, Matt. Hello. Four days a week, we're joined at the hip. If I never bodybuilt, if I never weight trained, I wouldn't be where I am now because this kept me alive, this kept the fire in me. This made me very passionate, very self-competitive. What we have is green and more green. Consider going plant-based is the one thing Jack guys over 50 do. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Yeah, because you're trying to fucking maintain a lower body weight. There's a difference, you know? Like, just because this, like, this can be, this is a misleading, bro. The one thing jack guys over 50 do, they all go plant based. Like, it's almost asserting that it's like a superior way to gain muscle. Like, at best, it's fucking equal. At best. And you still have to stretch to make that work. You know? Like, it's not like. <laughs> Um, like there again, circling back to the Batista downsizing thing, like there's the most unhealthy thing you can be doing is walking around at an elevated body weight, regardless if it's muscle or it's fat, that's stress on your organs. The amount of oxygen and blood demands on your body overall from a sheer body weight aspect from heightened muscularity above and beyond what your, you know, basal or like homeostatic set point would otherwise like normally be as like a natural non-fucking behemoth. It's way goddamn different, you know, like Batista at, you know, 275 or whatever versus Batista now, like the amount of stress on his heart is like night and day, regardless if he's still using, you know, anabolic assistance or not. Obviously the amount of an anabolic assistance to support that 275 or whatever he was is significantly higher, which is problematic in itself, but the body weight too, heavily stressful and now he is probably just like you know bare minimum trt and trying to pull out anything out of his diet that he deems to be anti-longevity which for some people they would deem you know high protein high protein intake you know constantly spiking mTOR um having a high level of uh you know methionine from uh, muscle meats and shit like there's a lot of things that people might want to cut off cut out when they're focusing on longevity but that does not correspond with the one thing jack guys over 50 do asserting that this is like the ideal way to like gain fucking tissue or something. So a little bit of a misleading part of the video in my opinion. And a lot of people say, you know, when I'm your age, I want to be in that kind of shape. And I look at them, some of them in their thirties and I go, well, you're not in that shape now. So what makes you think you're going to be in that shape when you're in your fifties? All right, yeah, so like obviously you can you can get jacked on a uh, you know plant-based diet too. It's just um, requires a bit more uh, ingenuity as well as uh, you know exploration with food groups and whatnot, and potentially significant supplementation in many aspects. But again, some of the assertions in the video felt like were a bit misleading, and obviously the number one factor that all these guys have in common is not really it's not really addressed, bro, as you would expect. But um, let's see, what does it say in here? 
Um, but, 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 your favorite celebs share their go-to training routines that keep them jacked over 50. Fair enough. Yeah, so these are like their individual, you know, things they deem to be why they're in the shape they're in. Obviously, at the end of the day, hormonal support is fucking massive if these guys did not have... Um, like, do you think you could support four hours of training a day while being 5% body fat without fucking TRT and still look the way that Frank Grillo does? No, the guy would be like a fucking zombie of a human and would never be able to get like anything done. Um, no, nah, maybe like, maybe you could still live like a life, but you would be walking around like hypogonadal as fuck and it would be quite unpleasant and it would definitely not be the most efficient and conducive way to be getting stuff done and your physique would start to deteriorate at the end of the day. So, you know, obviously a pretty, you know, mentionable point, I would say, <laughs> which uh, goes overlooked in the thing, like asserting... Say I train, like again, the laymen are watching this video and what they're gathering from it is this is the overlapping patterns of the top guys in Hollywood that are over 50 to maintain their physique. So the layman pulls from this, Frank Grillo trains four hours a day. The layman watching this who doesn't understand or even know that Frank Grillo is on testosterone replacement therapy then also thinks the amount of food he eats, which is macronutrient deficient as fuck or else he would not be sustaining 5% body fat. Like you would, that's literally like essentially borderline. Okay. It's not actually 5%, but like the amount of food he's eating, it's like, you know, like a lot of people would have a very, very difficult time adhering to that diet model. And it may even be insufficient for, you know, basic like mental clarity and whatnot. But again, the disparity of that too is could you maintain the mental clarity and, you know, physical energy and whatnot off of TRT versus on TRT, this is not mentioned whatsoever. So he's able to still be conducive with work, do his, you know, like acting stints and whatnot and train four hours a day whilst being in his mid fifties, whilst eating a borderline like macronutrient deficient diet model in order to sustain single digit body fat percentage in his fifties and then no mention of TRT whatsoever. And yet the however many people on a 1 million plus channel see this who are older and they're like damn i'm just not working hard enough i gotta train he's training four hours i'm training like one like three days a week i gotta fucking step it up and you have like 50 year olds who are hypogonadal cranking their training up to fucking four hours a day and depriving themselves of food is that the way to go no so i think it would be prudent to mention to be honest so let's see some of the comments thank you men's health what dave batista told us was very helpful and makes me go to the gym directly <laughs> Uh, it's a hearing test. If you can't hear it, you need to exercise. It's great seeing older men taking care of themselves and maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Fucking exuberantly happy face. Type of content we need. Many of guy not working out because they think when they get old, all of the muscle is gone, but we can start to working out. Not about how we can reach a goal, but how we can make it as our habit and long life journey. Gorilla was a beast. He's the only one here not on the sauce. Little do you fucking know, he has admitted to testosterone replacement therapy. He might be on low dose TRT, but he still looks great. Well, TRT, is that. You really think Batista's cranking his fucking face off right now? The guy's lost so much tissue over the past however many years. Maybe for roles sporadically, he might push things up a bit, but I think he's probably like the most. He, he's maybe one of the more conservative of the fucking, you know, like big, like muscular actors now, because he's clearly seen the writing on the wall. How many bodybuilders are dropping dead left and right? How many of his fellow wrestling co-stars have dropped dead at early ages from steroid abuse and being fucking massive, you know? Tons of cardiovascular disease in wrestling and in bodybuilding. And Batista is definitely well, well aware of that or else he would not be downsizing this significantly right now. You would just fucking hold the tissue and get sicker rolls constantly and just be known as a guy like The Rock, you know? Like what is the incentive to not maintain the physique he did like The Rock is doing? Well, the weight risk to reward. Is he going to get the same rolls as the rock if he keeps this shape? And how much quicker is he going to die if he takes this shit? Hmm. So, um, yeah, that is, uh, my stance. Um, <laughs> Capri Sun, having nutritionists, personal chefs, state of the art training facilities, personal trainers, nannies, and hard work. No secrets here. Get on TRT and train. <laughs> okay. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Uh, like, I feel like this video is like fucking made for me to react to, dude. So all the comments help the algorithm are much appreciated. Like, subscribe, check out my blog, moreplacemordates.com. Follow my Instagram at replacemordates, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcasts. If you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with in the video description below my TRT clinic, preventative medicine, all telemedicine from the comfort of your own home, get high quality medical oversight from doctors who actually understand what kind of biomarkers and diagnostics you should be getting. 
how to interpret those and how to create an individualized protocol based on your own personal needs relative to your imbalances, deficiencies, um, personal um, goals, as well as your uh, potentially even genetic predispositions. Like we're pretty turnkey and we do it all and we do a lot of nuanced interpretations that frankly no clinics are really doing out there. We're one of a kind and we are not going to haphazardly throw you on cookie cutter scripts of TRT, HCG, and anastrozole. Rather, we will work with you and go through your biomarkers and diagnostics and actually provide education behind it and then determine a path forward, regardless if it involves pharmacology or not. That is how we set ourselves apart and it is why I am so prideful to bring this service to the public because it's something I wish I had access to years ago myself. As well, if you wanna support me, Gorilla Mind, nootropic formulas, Gorilla Mode, pre-workout formulas, designed myself from scratch, a recommended diet model for gaining muscle and sports performance, clothing company that sponsors me, anything else I'm associated with, it's all in the video description below. There should be still Black Friday deals going for uh, Gorilla Mind as well as Young LA, so definitely check those out. And anything else I'm associated with, help support me. It's much appreciated when you guys do. And I will talk to you guys soon.